Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Main Assembly, the upcoming game that allows us to build all kinds of amazing stuff. Today, we are moving on through the challenges to go to the logistics part of the challenge, which is where I think I might be getting in over my head. The survival was hard enough, and even the driving had its challenges to it. So if you missed those, you're definitely going to want to go check those out. But logistics is where we're at right now. So we're going to go with um, box loader first. And by the looks of it, this is going to be forklift based, I think. We have to move boxes into the container, move boxes into the container, and don't hurt any dummies. I mean, I, I can't really guarantee this last one here, but I also can't guarantee any of the first ones. So I think it's going to go pretty well. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. What are we looking at? So it looks like the boxes are going to be on these pallets that are designed specifically for this forklift piece. Oh, what is that? Hold on a second here. Move boxes onto the container. Eight. Oh, well, there are four box. Wait, wait, how many boxes are there on these pallets? What is the? Whoa, there's a train. I almost got hit by a train. <laughs> I actually just almost got hit by a train. And I think that train is probably part of one of the hazards. Oh, wait, onto the container. This is the container? No, this must be the container. Oh, one of them is throw at least 16 boxes into the water. How many boxes are on this map? Oh, look at this. Look at these over here. Look at how small of an area this is to get these boxes. 150 centimeters. It tells us how tall these things are too. Oh, I want to get hit by the train. I want to get hit by the train. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 uh. Okay, okay, I guess our character doesn't get hit by the train. He didn't even stop. All right, and we can also go over... What? Wait, there's something... There's a sign over here. What is this? Stalhar. Swedish? Is it Swedish? There's a Swedish flag here. Whoa! Drone cosmetic pickup. Okay. That's a fake house. That house isn't even real. Everything's a lie. Okay, I need to stop wasting all this... Why is there a ball? Is this a ball? What? Why is there- it's a dodgeball. Why is there a ball there? Okay, I, I gotta start actually getting building now. So, uh, we definitely need a small craft capable of lifting large things. So, let's go into our build mode. So now, one of the things I remember in build mode is we actually have a forklift mechanism already here for us. But we need to be able to put this onto our creation in a mechanical way. So, I can't actually use it yet. So, we have our base, uh, vehicle here. And we got to try to create a forklift from this thing. So with the forklift, we're going to have to probably use a piston. I don't know. Let, let's actually just spawn the piston in here. And I just want to see what kind of settings we have on it. So a lot of the visuals of the menu aren't quite in the game yet. They're still working on it. But we have length limit. We have motor strength, speed, and rotation. Okay, that's cool. So we can change the rotation of it like that if we wanted to go in a certain degree in increments. But length limit. Oh, okay. 25 centimeters. So we can go 100 centimeters above its tallest point. Either we need two of them stacked on top of each other, or my vehicle needs to be 50 centimeters high where this piston is placed. So we may need to actually stack these, but you know what? Let's just let's just create a vehicle that works first, and then we'll worry about the measurement stuff. Okay, so I'm going to start building this thing, and I'm actually going to try to make this thing have like a... Oh, what happened there? I'm going to try to make this thing have like a cool looking cockpit. So I'm going to go down to there. We're going to have like a nice curve to this. And then I think because of that, we should end up, we should actually move this whole section outwards. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so now check this out. I can make that. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to make these out of plexiglass. All right, now we actually have like a cockpit with windshields and stuff. And oh, look at the light refraction. Light refraction is interesting. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna want this to be kind of heavy, so I'm gonna make the rest of it out of steel. All right, so I'm definitely gonna want this thing to be back heavy since we're gonna be lifting stuff up in the front. So I'm gonna extrude this entire steel section just like that, and I'm just gonna add um, frames for support here. But these frames, we're not gonna have like panels or anything on those. And then this is also where we can put our rear wheels. So let's go ahead and go into our build uh, or our parts area, and I'm gonna do. Drive motors, we're going to put drive motors in the back and up in the front. And then we're going to do some small wheels. I'm just going to use standard wheels for this one. I don't use standard wheels very much. And wow, these are really, really big pieces. Okay, so now I want this to be rear steering only. 
So these are alpha, so I want the alpha to have the steering. Yeah, so it has by default front wheel steering to drive motor beta, so I want to delete drive motor beta. Drive motor beta? <laughs> I want to delete drive motor beta and go to the steering of alpha. There we go. And that should give us rear wheel steering. All right, let's print and do a quick test to see if this vehicle works as intended. Okay, the steering is reversed, so I'm going to have to reverse that. So there's a couple ways I could do that, but the easy way for me is just to go A and then D. Just reverse the inputs. All right, this thing works. Check it out. I think it has a pretty good turning radius as well. Let's see if we can get ourselves to fit over here, though. All right, well, that's not including, though. We're going to have the forklift on the front of us. So let's try to work with the forklift mechanism now. So I'm just going to extrude this panel out this way. And this is where we're going to be putting our forklift. And we'll give it some extra support right here. All right, now let's see. We have mechanical and we have, oh, look, just the right size. So the piston goes on there. And of course, it's going to be right in our view. And then our forklift. Are these like identical? Is there any like difference between these? This one's a lot heavier, but I'm going to use the lightweight one because there's a bunch of lightweight ones around here. So that tells me that that's probably the appropriate one to use. And I guess I just put it like right there. Oh man, that is so big compared to my vehicle. I didn't think about like... I did, oh man, my, my sense of scale was so off. My vehicle is so tiny compared to this thing. Oh no, what have I done? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extrude these down. We're basically creating like a super, super tall version of what we already made. And then I can select these, I hope, and just move them on down. There's that. There's that. And wait, why is you? Why are you still here? I deleted you already. Get out of here. There we go. All right, so now we have a super derpy looking forklift thing. Now let's go ahead and put our forklift on the front and see if the scale is a little bit more tolerable. All right, see? Now that actually doesn't look terrible. I think I just need, I don't know. I don't know what I need to do with this. Part of me wants to just make this a little bit further in the back like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, so now let's program the actual lift. So I'm going to use shift to extend, control to contract. And let's see if I just hook this in here, what is that going to do? So by default, just by hooking the input into the piston, you can see that pressing it extends it. And then when I release, it comes back. So we need to do a couple more things here. First, I definitely want to change the speed and the height. So if I go here, select this, the length limit, I can just extend up as high as I can. And then the speed, I'm going to go down to point. 0.5. Let's see how this feels now. All right, so now shift. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. But as you can see, that is actually still not high enough to get up to 150 centimeters. Although I don't need to unless I want to get those boxes over there. But I don't necessarily need that. So let's see if I can lift up a thing of boxes right now. Let's just go ahead and give it a test. All right. There we go. Because I don't know how heavy these boxes are compared to me. All right, right all the way in. No way, we could we can almost kind of do it. I might need a little bit more weight in my back. And you know, I can make myself wider. I don't know why I'm not wider. Look how skinny this thing is. So I should be able to just move this out sideways. And then to match everything up, move this out sideways. This is just turning into like a box now. And just to make the back not look so bad, I'm going to do a little bit of that. And that. And that. It still looks really, really boxy, but I'm okay with it. Okay, so now let's deal with the programming. I want this to extend when I press the button, and then I want it to hold where I press it. Oh, problem solved. Now I can have it go anywhere I want up and down its length. So the easy way to do that is just, you just have your control that you want. I have shift to go up, control to go down. You hook it into accumulate and then hook that into extend. And it just basically accumulates the values. That's what it does. Let's try this again. Okay, in. Lift up. I'm not even going to lift it up all the way. Just just a little bit. There we go. Now we got to get nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. Oh, boy. Oh, let's go down. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we lost a box. That's fine. But, oh, okay. That This is... Hard. Going up that little slant is a lot harder than I expected it to be. Oh, and when I take a box... Oh, and I hit a dump. I'm ruining everything. <laughs> So when a box goes back out, the counter goes back down. So that's actually, that's, that's, that makes it harder to do all the challenges. 
What? How did I even hit that dummy? I didn't even touch you. These dummies are too sensitive. All right, well, let's try this again. Oops. 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 All right, nice and gentle. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I need the accumulate even just for this section here because I wouldn't be able to lift it all the way up if I had the controls the way I had them before. All right. I need to set my my engine speed slower. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm losing control, losing control. All right, and ready, go in, go in, go in, go in, yes. All right, now set it down, and back out. All right, well, there's all the boxes I need in there. Can we still get 16? I don't think we can get 16 into the ocean from here. Oh, there's more over there, yes we can. Yes we can, Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> No! Repair. How do I repair? Alright, I'm gonna try to go across here now. Really? That's how I'm gonna lift my forklift up a little bit so we can actually go across here. I, I, I'm I not gonna be able to get the dummies, but I at least want to get the 16 boxes into the water. And it looks like there's a lot of boxes on these. Oh wait, I need to adjust my engines first. Wow, look at all the things you can adjust. Power? Acceleration, braking strength, steering angle, rotation. All right, acceleration is actually what I want. All right, I've lowered the power. So now we should not have as jerky of a movement when we accelerate, I hope. This already seems to be going okay. Man, oh man, these ramps are gonna be terrible though. All right, let's see if we can do this without dropping too many boxes now. Okay, there we go. Now lift up, nice and gentle. Oh, it is a little bit shaky. All right, just nice and gentle here. These ramps are gonna kill me. And here we go. Oh, slow down, gentle, slow down. Okay. I don't wanna change my speed too much, like too drastically. So I'm trying to slow down gradually. All right, go up. And over, and you know what? Full speed ahead, and then... Break! Oh no! <laughs> well, that's 8 out of 16. <laughs> or I think we can just rebuild our vehicle back in. There we go. Alright, I guess that works. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Nice and gentle. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't want you to go up that much. Alright. There goes nothing. There goes nothing. It's working. Okay, here we go. Slow down gently. Don't drop any boxes. I, I honestly cannot believe that this thing weighs enough to not just be flipped over instantly by these boxes. All right, and here we go. And break. Oh, okay. Can I just, it's actually kind of hard to, oh, there we go. There we go, that works. All right, 16 out of 16. We didn't, we didn't do the dummies. That's actually kind of hard. The dummies are like right next to the area that we need them to be in, but we did the challenge. <laughs> okay, oh, this is interesting. So it looks like, oh, the dummies have moved. I thought this was the same thing for, what is this? Why are there like laser things over here? All right, so I thought this was the same map for some reason. Or, all right, so I thought it reloaded the same challenge, but as you can see, all the dummies are now uh, in different positions. And my objectives are now different. So I have to move eight boxes into the container and then I have to deliver boxes to the house. So the house is this guy over here, but where do I deliver the boxes? And then is, the, is that the missing present? I guess maybe that means deliver boxes here. Th this one's already blocked by a forklift. Okay, I, all right. Well, I'm gonna try my best here. Hopefully this little guy is gonna be capable of doing this. All right, so I need to deliver eight into the container. And I think one of these things, just one of these has eight total on it. So as long as I don't drop any, we should be okay. All right, lift up a little bit. All right. That train is leaving. We're safe to cross. There we go. This is going pretty well so far. Okay. Now just nice and gentle. This ramp kills me though. So I'm gonna go kind of fast so the box have forward momentum. There we go. All the boxes are in. I just gotta not drag any out with me. Oh, look, they get de deformed. That's cool. Well, I hope that doesn't, it doesn't seem to matter. They don't care. <laughs> I feel like a, a true FedEx driver now. There's damage in the boxes like no one cares. All right, so now deliver boxes to the house. 
lift this up. No, go up, go up, go up. All right, can I even, you're in the way. You are in the way. Actually, you know what? You're not in the way if, what? What, I didn't even touch you. All right, you know what? I don't care anymore. I'm not even gonna go to the other side like I was before. I'm just gonna go straight for it now. All right, lift it on up. Okay. So now, oh! My forklift just broke! Why did my forklift just break? What broke you? Now I gotta repair. Um, uh, I guess... Uh, where do I get the boxes from now? Oh, no, no, no! No, no, I almost got hit by the train. I don't even know how, It doesn't say how many boxes to deliver to the house, so I'm gonna assume that just one thing is fine. And is that the hidden present over there? There's a couple of things to get. Let's hope that this one goes a little bit better. Okay. I hope this ramp doesn't mess me up again. Alright, nice and gentle. Turn, turn, turn. Oh! I just hit... I hit all those boxes, but all mine are still fine. Alright. Oh, this road is actually kind of a lot more windy than I expected it to be. But can I just go over the grass over here? Or is that a bad idea? There's probably like a ridge or something that's gonna get me. Alright, nice and gentle. Nice and gentle! No! Nice and gentle. Oh, deliver boxes to the house complete. All right, I'll just set you guys off there. So now the question is, is this the present? No, that's not the present. So that must be the present over here. Let's go get the present. And I think we got all, all three of the objectives complete on this one. Please be the present. Yes. All right. And then we just got to go to the parking area and we're done. I'm just going to go backwards the whole way. All right. This one we did much, much better on now that we know how to control our forklift. All right, now we got our third challenge. What's gonna- oh no, they're all- all of them are up there. Uh... So I have to move another eight boxes into this container. It looks like I could do this one. 100 centimeters. Man, th those are really, really high up there. All right, so I want to try- I want to see if I can figure out how to, um, make the- forklift to go higher. Oh, there's the missing present. I already know where that is. So let's see if we can do this. So the issue with this is I need this to be stacked on top of here. But now if I put a forklift on top of this, the forklift doesn't go all the way to the ground. All right, so I'm gonna do something a little bit weird. I don't know if this is gonna work very well, but I'm gonna add a separate chassis onto here. And then I'm gonna have to build off of this one going down like that. Does that go, oh, that doesn't go symmetrical anymore. Oh, I don't know how that's gonna affect things. And then from there, we're gonna go out like that and out like that. We go mechanical on there and on there. So now I wanna put another chassis right there and right there. I just wanna attach these like together pretty much. All right, well, you know what? This might work as intended anyway, I hope. So then my idea is to attach the forklift onto here. Theoretically, it should work if the parts are attached the way I think they are. And I should just be able to do the same controls into each of them and they should all combine together. All right, well, I'm a little bit worried about this, but let's see if it works. By the front of my vehicle just absolutely got destroyed. What? <gasps> okay, whatever I've done, do not do it. That is not the way to do it. <laughs> okay, all right. That, that, I don't, I think I overlapped too many pieces. That isn't the way things should happen. All right, well, I was hoping to be able to do it without combining pistons like this, but I think I'm just going to have to. So now if I put a chassis on that and then just drag it down to wherever the other piston is, is that right? That looks actually perfect. And then just make a new platform right here for our forklift. This should be a solution as well. Let's see if this doesn't instantly destroy the entirety of our vehicle. All right, this looks good so far, except for the fact that I never hooked them up into any controls. All right, whoa, look at that. How tall does this go? Definitely not 300 centimeters, but these things are a little bit too fast, aren't they? All right, well, I should be able to go ahead and adjust the speed down to, I guess, 0.5. Yeah, that's a little bit more tolerable, but they combine into each other, so it's still kind of difficult. All right, so now let's see 
if we can do this. We're gonna get the 100 centimeter one first. You know what? I don't like that one. He's too close to the- Why are these dummies so close? All right, you know what? We're gonna go with the 150 centimeter one because there's no dummies over here. No, no, a little bit lower. Uh-oh. That's not supposed to happen. You know what? Let me back up. Oh, you know what? I don't like that one anymore. The boxes are all weird now. I don't like it. I'm not comfortable. All right, let's try this one then. There we go. This is looking pretty good so far. Just lift it up a little bit. <laughs> okay. We're okay. This is fine. All right, stop. Nice and gentle. Let's come back down. Ugh. These things are so fast. All right, I'm gonna back up first. Okay. Now we're gonna go nice and gentle forward. Well, the good news with this is that I have kind of a backboard on the top boxes, which I didn't have before. Oh, what is that guy doing up there? All right, make this lower then. He's gonna feel it. He's gonna get hit by this. Okay. And this is the most successful one we've ever done. That was amazing. All right, now we just gotta find the missing present without hurting any dummies. If I can do this, I'll be very, very happy. All right, I gotta move this in order to get access to the present. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's just... Oh, well, that works too. And then I'll... Now I'll just recklessly drive this thing around just because I can. I don't need any of the boxes anymore. All right, and now we just go... Whoops. We just go park. Without hitting any dummies. No dummies glitch out, please. <laughs> Woo! We did it! All right, and I think this is the last challenge here. So let's see what it's gonna have me do. What's different about this one? A washing machine. Oh, that's gonna be heavy now, isn't it? Deliver the washing machine undamaged to the truck. Not fully implemented. Okay, so these things might not actually work, but I'll try to do it um, metaphorically. So there's the truck over there. There's the washing machine. Do not hurt any dummies. Stay on top of the locomotive for five seconds. Oh, that's interesting. That's another interesting one. All right, well, let's try. I, I, we just might not be heavy enough for this. We might just be too small of a vehicle. I bet it's gonna be super heavy. Oh, there's a lot of washing machines. Well, I'm gonna go for this one anyway, just because it was the first one that I saw, even though the other ones are probably a little bit easier. All right, let's check our height here. All right, now let's see if I can even lift this up. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is heavy, isn't it? It is very, very heavy. Ugh. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yep, all right, it's heavy. We're gonna have to, we're definitely gonna have to retry this challenge, but let's see what happens. I'm going to just make the back of my vehicle a lot bigger, a decent amount heavier. Look at this, oh, this is looking cool now. Let's add our, let's make, we're gonna make a futuristic looking, oh yeah, this is gonna be a really weird concept forklift now. Oh, look at this. I'm loving the way this is looking already. Look at that. Oh, those curves are awesome. You can make like such a good Corvette in this game. And then let's go ahead and do that. I love the curves. It's so much more fun when you just start adding curves. None of these even have a purpose anymore other than just to look interesting. Man, look at the shape. It is so cool. You think this is, <laughs> this list does look like a futuristic concept car. All right, you think that's heavy enough now? That's all steel. I hope it's gonna be heavy enough. Let's give it a try. Oh, whoops, I messed up. I messed up the front of it. I really messed up the front of it with all these curves. Oh, that's why my wheels are no longer even. Let's see if we're heavy enough to lift up a washing machine now. All right, nice and straight. And up we go. Just put the washing machine into the water. You know, we always tell the washing machine to wash our clothes, wash our sheets, wash our dirty laundry, but very rarely does the washing machine ever get washed itself. So I was just, you know, I was just thinking out, th thinking for the washing machine, you know? All right, so clearly we're not heavy enough. All right, so I just extended this way out back like this, which also increases our wheelbase, which should give us some more stability. Then I suppose I can also move this back some, oh man. Look at these shapes. I love these shapes. You know, I'm keeping it. I am keeping it. Is this, is this the forklift of the future? This right here. Oh, it just looks so weird. Are we now heavy enough to lift this up? Please say yes. Oh, it's barely, barely enough. Am I even gonna be able to like back up without losing this thing? It's working. It's working. 
Oh man, it is so wobbly. Right. Oh boy. This is, I'm afraid of this down slope. Uh, okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Up a little bit. Oh boy, no, no, no. <gasps> that was close. Oh, the pistons don't have collisions. <gasps> no, no, no. We're fine. No, see, look at that. It's fine. It's fine. We even completed the, even though it says it's not implemented, we still completed the objective anyway. Oh, and look at that. We got a camera up there. I wonder if I can just, just give it a little boop. Just a little boop. There we go. It worked. Oh, and there goes, there goes my forklift. And now we just got to stay on the locomotive for five seconds. Come on. Get, get, get. Wait, wait, wait. How do I get, how do I get on the locomotive? It's closed. Unless... Would it count if I... Does this count? Well, uh... Okay. Alright, I don't know how to get on the locomotive, and now I'm stuck. Well, it says it's not implemented, so maybe that one is actually not implemented. So let's go ahead and go for our completion here. And there we go. And look at that! It even gave us the stars anyway. <laughs> But uh, now we have sandbox mode and holy cow, sandbox, there's a lot in sandbox mode. We have a base camp, frozen river. Oh, frozen river, does that mean low friction? Lake, lower caves, lower lookout, upper lookout, racetrack, ski jump, upper caves, and airstrip. Hold on, let me, I just want to spawn the ski jump really quick. I just want to see what this is all about. This looks amazing. No way. No way, guys. Guys, we have a ski jump. Look at this place. Look at, that must be the frozen lake. What is this? Go to airstrip to lakeside. We have teleport. Oh, <gasps> here's our airstrip. Oh man, we can make planes and stuff. Go to ski jump, go to lower lookout. This is, there's a bridge, there's bridges. Sandbox mode looks amazing. Frozen river. This is the frozen, where's the river part? Oh, here we go. I wonder if there's actually low friction there. Racetrack, let's check out the racetrack. Oh, look at this. Look at the, this, this sandbox mode is way more developed than I expected. I thought it was just gonna be like a blank map. All right, lakeside. We haven't been to lakeside yet. Actual, wait, is there buoyancy? Is there actual water physics in this yet? Obviously there are plans for it at least. All right, I think that's pretty much like all the stuff. So that's what we have to look forward to in sandbox mode. Look at this jump. There's like so many awesome things. Look, there's like an off-road track over there. There's the ski jump that we came from. There's a cave. There's a cave in the mountain. What's in here? Oh, it is dark. It is so dark inside here. This must go to another exit though, right? Oh yeah, I just saw a little bit of an exit. Look, this is the frozen area, it looks like. Yep, this goes to the frozen lake. Oh, that is amazing. And there's another cave over there. And there's another cave over there. What? And there's another cave over there. There's caves everywhere. This is an odd, there's more caves up here. All right, this sandbox map got me super excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this has to offer. So if you guys are looking forward to that too, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment down below uh, telling me what you think I should be doing in sandbox mode. If you missed the previous challenges and everything, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the main assembly playlist on the channel. You can check that out right here. Anyway, I hope this video has earned your subscription. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.